Hi everyone and welcome back to the Analog Wonderland YouTube channel. My name is Emma, I'm marketing assistant here at Analog Wonderland and today I'm here to talk to you about a colour film from Candido and that is Candido 800. Whether you are new to film photography or a long time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! So I started at Analog Wonderland almost three years ago and when I first started back in the warehouse it was a struggle to find colour film, you know, we were packing orders and unfortunately there just wasn't that much colour film available especially with Covid and Brexit related things so now to be in a world where there are new colour film releases happening all the time and we're almost spoilt for choice, it is so exciting. So I'm really pleased to be talking to you about Candido today and a bit more about their background and the colour films that they offer. So Candido say they have a film for every occasion. They have released films in 200, 400 and 800 ISO speeds, so there really is a lot of choice. They've got some really fun and modern branding. I really love their motto, pay for flights, not film. So it is no secret that film prices have risen over the last few years, but as you can tell by their motto, pay for flights, not film, Candido is really prioritizing making memories, capturing special moments, and trying to release films that are as affordable and accessible as possible. There aren't many high-speed color films about on the market, and. Candido 800 is at a really great price point which hopefully makes it something that we can all enjoy and have fun shooting. So Candido was founded by Harry, I believe they are a London based company. Harry started Candido after travelling around Portugal and wanting to find a more authentic way to capture moments from his travels and that's when Candido was born. He said that many analogue products on the market reminded him of the 90s, his mum shooting film in the 90s and capturing his family and he wanted something that was more modern, more trendy, fitted in with the sort of Instagram world that we live in now and that's where he came up with Candido. Their films all have a different colouring based on the film speed but you know you can see they're really sleek and modern and have moved away from that kind of 90s territory that a lot of the film world is still stuck in so it's really fun to see a new film on the scene. So Candido 800 is at 800 ISO speed. There aren't many colour films on the market at this speed. We've got Lomo 800, Portrait 800 and Cine Still. And some of these films do come in at a higher price point. So it's wonderful to have another option available to us. The high speed of the film gives you a lot of flexibility, allows you to shoot in indoor conditions, dimly lit conditions at night. So it really gives you that whole range to be able to shoot whatever you like really. The film does have a grainier look to it which you often get with higher speed films but to me this did not detract from the final images at all and it gave it a really fun filmy aesthetic to it which I know you'll all love. Candido are based in London and they haven't given too much away about where their film was sourced from but I believe a lot of it comes from Asian markets. Their films are originally movie film based so they are movie films that have had the remjet layer removed which allows you to process them normally in traditional standard c41 processing but when shooting this film you will see some of those classic halations you know the the red glows around lights and artificial lighting and that kind of movie film look which is a lot of fun to play with as well as it was originally a movie film it is tungsten balanced so when you are shooting outdoors, you can get a more bluish tone to your photos. And if you want to counteract this, we suggest using a filter when shooting outdoors. If you use a warming filter with your shots, then you can balance this out and, and get a slightly warmer look to your photos. But I think um, the blue can add something really interesting. I shot this film recently on a trip to Wales and I had a go shooting it outdoors 
as well as indoors with a flash. I think it offers something quite different to Kodak's high speed films because it is a movie film, it is on that cooler, bluer end of the spectrum, so it's a totally different look. The colours are a lot cooler, a lot more muted, but I still think it performed really well indoors and outdoors. So you can see the shots I've taken outdoors or near the water, the greens are really strong and vibrant but definitely does have a cooler, more muted look. But for me, the greens just really stand out. I love the way they look near the waterfall and that, yeah, they just look so vibrant and punchy. And then I'm also really pleased with the shots I got indoors. I think when you are at a party or, you know, a concert maybe even, you do need a high speed film for this kind of photography. And I think they just capture the moments really well, everyone having a drink and having a laugh with their friends. I think the skin tones look really nice too. You can see where the flashes sort of bounce off people's faces, but on the skin tones, they, they don't look too cold. They do have quite a, a warm look to them, a lot of atmosphere and character. To me, the grain isn't too noticeable at all. You can see on the shots uh, where there is artificial light in them, a bit of the halations that we spoke about, but this is something that I know a lot of people love and, and really enjoy capturing and almost actively seeking in their photos, um, the halations, because it's something that makes them really stand out from digital photos. It's a very filmy look you can get. So um, definitely lean into that if you can. This film has a lot of five star reviews on our website, which is great to see. It's been described as a great alternative to Portrait 800. There are also a lot of comparisons to 800T with the film delivering those similar dreamy halations to artificial lighting. It has great colour reproduction, being a little more on the blue side, but overall our customers seem very pleased with this film, especially given its price point. Candido comes in 24 exposure rolls, but they are not DX coded, so bear this in mind when loading it in your cameras as some um, electronic cameras might just automatically set this to a lot lower speed. It comes in the plastic canisters, which can be quite good for bulk loaders because these ones just pop open. They're similar to the ones Lomography use, I believe. It's meant to be better for reloading and recycling, which is another plus. I spoke to the Candido founder, Harry, shortly after recording this video, and he said that the name Candido actually came from Spain and they worked with manufacturers from the UK and US for the film and it is boxed, wrapped and packaged in China. If you head to their Instagram, you may have also seen Candido recently announced a few updates that they are working on for the next batch of their films. The next release will feature new steel canisters with DX coding. Some users were experiencing light leaks with the plastic ones, so please be aware of this. The steel ones should bring a lot of improvements. The new films will also have 36 exposures, so even more Candido fun. And Candido are promising a commitment to quality as there were some minor differences in the amounts of exposures reported by Candido fans. So they are working to be more consistent on this. And improvements to the packaging too with inclusions such as expiry dates and barcodes. It's really great to see a brand actively taking on customer feedback to make their films even better. Harry also gave a few tips. You can pull the film one stop for less grain. However, it does depend on the speed you're using and the conditions, of course. Candido 800 either at box speed or overexpose it to 620 or 400 ISO, depending on your camera settings. I was really impressed with this film and I am excited to see more affordable colour film coming into the market. Um, so if you are looking for something new to try, maybe leaning away from some of the bigger brands in film, then give Candido a go. I'm sure you're going to really like the results and you have from 200 to 800 ISO to play with. So as they say, a film for every occasion. Let us know how you get on with Candido. Enjoy the vibrant colours, its flexibility and its high speed and as always happy shooting and I'll see you next time.